Alright, alright, alright. Back again with another video. In this video, we're going to take a look at some interesting information that I could not help but wonder, is there a connection between these verses? Alright, so let's take a look at Genesis 3, 15, and 16. It says here that the Most High would put enmity between the serpent and the woman and between the seed of the serpent and the seed of the woman. So that also lets you know right there that there are two seed lines. Yes, the serpent, fathered, wicked, reprobate, heathen children. All right. I know, I know. Sounds like I'm slandering them, but I can't help it. Sometimes I just got to take a few jabs at them. I try. All right. And of course, the seed of the woman, we know that is the line of the elect and the cult. And it says here that the seed of the woman, well, the seed would bruise the head and the heel would be bruised by the serpent. All right, so interesting. It does not, if you take a look at the semicolon there, it does not say that either the woman or the serpent would be bruising the head. Now, does it? It's a separate thought. It says, It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Hmm. This stuff is deep. Very dimensional verses here. A lot of information here. But let's move on. All right. Next verse unto the woman. He said, This is the Most High. He said, I will greatly multiply your sorrow and your conception. Hmm. In sorrow you shall bring forth children, and your desire shall be. To thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. So the woman's getting punished here. Also, keep in mind the woman in scripture, in a spiritual, symbolic way, represents the church, Yasharel. All right? And in this case, if you look at it this way, the bad acts of this woman represent the wicked part of Yasharel. Just follow me. Now, tell me in what way does what we just read, what I just read, and what you just heard compare to what it says here in Genesis 25, verses 21 to 28, when it says here that Rebecca conceived and bore two children. And it says that the children were fighting inside her and the most high told her look there are two nations in your belly two manner of people shall be separated from your bowels one will be stronger than the other and the elder will serve the younger now take a look at what it says in verse 26 isn't that similar to what we just read in Genesis 3 15. It says that after Esau came out, his brother, Jacob, his hand took hold of Esau's heel. There are some people that say that Esau was kicking on the top of Yaakov's he head. He was trying to kill him. Remember, one was supposed to bruise the head and the other one the heel. Maybe because he was kicking too much, he might have hurt his foot. I know a lot of times we read in scripture that, oh, Esau was bad and all this. Yes, he was. But it's a, it's a two-edged sword what we're reading here. Remember, 
Esau came out first, representing, in a sense, if you look deeper past this, the woman, right? And who's coming out second, getting his head bashed? Jacob. Hmm, that, that. Follow me now. That's letting you know that, yes, Jacob, Yasharel, would go astray. No doubt about it. Even Esau's people went corrupt. So, but that that's letting you know. Come on, follow me now. The snake in this case, remember, he was called Jacob for a reason. He was slick like the snake. So what does this tell you? Is there a connection? You tell me. And take a look at what it says here. Isaac, the father, loved Esau. Hmm, I wonder why. Isaac, father, in a spiritual sense, the father loved Esau, the one that came out first that's delivering the head wound. Hmm. But the female, it says here that the female loved Jacob, loved her favorite child. Hmm. Keep in mind also, Rebecca, the woman, again, tied to Jacob, the woman in Scripture, Yasharel. Right? Remember the woman, Eve, transgressed? All right? Follow me now. Rebecca, woman, favoring Jacob. Jacob transgressed too. And he's being pictured as the one receiving the head wound instead of the one delivering it, letting you know that something corrupt will come out of Jacob in a spiritual sense. He was going to go off. Laban was father to Rachel, who took his idols. And I believe she got cursed for it. And remember, she died giving birth to Benjamin. So, yeah, follow me now. This is some deep stuff going on here. And now when you read that, what I just said, tie it into this verse here. Remember, one of the 12 tribes of Yahshua was described as a serpent, letting you know that the serpent would come within the 12 tribes of Yahshua. Dan shall be a serpent by the way, and adder in the pad. Bites the horse's heels. So in a sense... Jacob is a snake, the corrupt part of Yasharel. Now, when I say that, think of the two-thirds of Yasharel, the wicked part. Does say the Most High here. This is Isaiah 51. Where is the bill of your mother's divorcement, whom I have put away? Behold, for your iniquities have you sold yourselves, and for your transgressions is your mother put away again. Goes all the way back to Eve, back to Rebecca being favoring uh, the child Jacob. Remember, Jacob came out second. Esau was hitting on that head, kind of letting you know that, hey, the snake is coming from uh, Jacob, you know. So, yeah, there's a connection. People need to read between the lines. See? They are unfaithful. Adulterous Yasharel. Weak Yasharel spiritually. They give in. Jeremiah 3 8. And I, and I saw when for all causes whereby backsliding Yasharel committed adultery. There it is. All the way back to the first part of this video we just read. Adulterous Yasharel, I put her away and gave her a bill of divorce. See? The snake is creeping up through Jacob. That's why Esau was hitting on his head. And that's why uh, Isaac, the father, favored him. He was a troop. He was able to... That's why they are uh, cunning hunters. They're able to detect the enemy. So it's not coming from me. It's coming from uh, my brother's uh, people, you know. But not just that. Um, the enemy got to Esau, too, apparently. So, like I said, the elect are the ones that are for the most part, could detect where the snake is creeping through, right? See? He gave her a bill of divorce, yet her treacherous sister Judah feared not, but went and played the harlot also. 
like mother, like daughter, right? See, so there is some stuff to this. I can't really put my finger on it. The best part of the two thirds, this is what they represent, reprobate silver. Wow, harsh, reprobate silver. At their best, the two thirds of Yashara are reprobate silver shall people call them because the Most High had rejected them. Again, goes all the way back to Genesis, then to Jacob and Esau. Jacob, coming out second, if you want to say, put, you know, identify it with the, shall bruise thy head, bruise thy heel. If you want to say Jacob was uh, the snake, you could say that he came out second. Esau came out first. Right? Father, Isaac favored Esau. The mother favored Jacob. Remember, it's it's foretelling, foreshadowing that two-thirds of Yashara are not to be trusted at their best and nothing more than reprobate silver. As it says here. Which brings us to the next part of this video, Zechariah 13. 8 through 9, and it shall come to pass that it, in the land, saith the Most High, two parts of his people shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein, and I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, It is my people, and they shall say, It is my Yah, overseer. So there it is. Jacob also would play the snake or the snake would come through Jacob so yeah you know I thought that was pretty interesting I, I can't I'm just scratching the surface on it I can't but I'm, I was hearing a podcast from one of these brothers I listened to and uh he's an Ed my brother and he knows he knows about Esau and Jacob and uh he brought that up he's like hey you remember Jacob and Esau who came out first and who was hitting who? Who was getting their yeah, heel bruise and who was doing the bruising, the head head bruising? And he, and he just laughed. He's like, I got you with that one. He was telling the radio host, and I was like, wow. Kind of, I was like, yeah, for real. I'm like, in that sense, if you put it like that, then Jacob will represent the snake and Esau will represent the, the righteous part in that sense. And kind of was like, wow. So I took it back and I was like, okay, I see it. So... In a way, it was prophesying that, uh, if you look deep into it, that even Yashua will go astray and become wicked. That's so why it takes me back to the videos I made. Remember, you can't trust uh, two-thirds. At their best, they're nothing but reprobate silver. You know? So, yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. And uh, I hope uh, it... it um, perked up some ears to those listening and I don't know tell me what you think I thought it was pretty interesting so that's all I got and till next time shalom